Scott has waited out a two hour and 10 minute weather delay ready for the season to start between the Golden Eagles of Southern Miss and the Kentucky Wildcats. And with that, we welcome you to SEC Saturday Night. It is so great to be Mr. Turner's ever coached against. That includes Tyreek Hill. So they'll keep it short, and it's taken at the 28-yard line. And an opportunity for a positive return out past the 40 and up past the 45-yard line. And Kentucky will have fantastic. Denny Carnbay is alone back with Vandergrift. Now they'll empty the backfield. We see multiple quarterbacks tonight. That's the plan with Gavin Wimsett, the Rutgers transfer. And now they'll run it. Vandergrift stays on his feet, didn't slide, and took a shot after it. And now second and ten. Fred Ferrier, the man in motion. Again, pressure from that edge. There is a flag. Vandergrift gets out of trouble, and he rumbles for another Kentucky first down. Pickup of 13 as his offensive coordinator. Brown again. This time it's a handoff. Brown's got a seam, and he stays on his feet to the marker before Quez McNeil shoves him out of bounds. Oh, and here comes the tempo. <laughs> First and 20. I think they'll be rowdy. That was Dingle in motion. Vandergriff stands tall. It's tipped, and it is intercepted. Southern Miss with the takeaway. Dylan Lawrence, the Mississippi State transfer. Jalen Sims got his fingertips on it and turned into a tip drill. Get a linebacker in zone coverage that has eyes all over you. That's just something you got to feel, and that takes reps, right? Game reps that he hasn't had a chance to really get enough of. Just stare down his receiver there. Linebacker sitting in zone coverage was all over it, and then tips and overthrows. Got to get those. New defensive coordinator for some season undefeated last year. He's a product out of Valdosta High School in South Georgia. Bottom maker, tip, and this one's picked off. Damon Dumas Johnson with the takeaway. And now an impact early tonight. Boy, similar to what we just saw with Van de Grip, a little RPO, just staring it down the whole time. There's three guys that know right where that ball's going. That one, if you're Rodemaker, don't get too greedy too early. Just hand that ball off. Backside end stayed, hand it off, let your running back and offensive line take over. Deion Walker, a little pressure right up the middle. Nice swim move there. For the They're never stagnant. Second and 12, Vandegrift. And he's had to move a lot, and this time he's able to fit it in. Southern Miss territory again. That's Macklin. I guess Bush didn't watch early season tape on these guys last year. They had a case of the drops the first third of the season. Vandergrift again using his feet. He doesn't care to slide, does he? Powers his way for another quarterback carry for With each and every week. Second and seven now. Simo Kongbe finds a huge hole. This time over the left side. Marcus Cox and Jagger Burton out there. It's a gain of a left. Third down eight. Second possession for Kentucky. Vandergrip has plenty of time. Out of the end zone. Caught. Kentucky touchdown. Barry Brown. The first two possessions. Kentucky able to cash in on its second. Rayner punches it through. And Kentucky gets on the board. to the end zone dumps it to his tight end Kyron Heath and he will rumble past the 30 and a Southern Miss first down and he's just carrying cats with him pickup of 33 and a late motion shift for Kentucky Southern Miss runs it over the right side and right at the marker 4,000 career rushing yards Rodemaker Gets hit as he throws and is able to swing it out to Dreek Clark. And Southern Miss finding some rhythm here on offense now. And Oxidine got to Rodemaker just a little. On third down tonight. Rodemaker facing pressure again. They pick it up. It is caught 
for the first down and another third down conversion. This time it's Davis Dalton on the receiving end of a 22 yard. Say Rodemaker out of the shotgun. The read action and wrong read. Drake Clark gets taken down behind the line of scrimmage by Porter. Clark motions out. Rodemaker to the end zone. It's tapped in and it is taken away again. Second interception of the game for Kentucky. JQ Hardaway. It started with a tip from De'Eric Jackson. Traffic has not. Watch Jackson down, in Kentucky. the middle right here. He's going to read the entire thing the whole way. Eyes on the quarterback. Doesn't fall for the under route in front of his face. Sees where he's going the whole time. And Hardaway finishes it off. That's all on De'Eric Jackson. Great job reading that, being patient, not falling for the tight end, crossing your face. He did extend this Kentucky lead from the 20. He is 5 of 7 start this game and they'll run it straight ahead sumo Kongbe with the run you can tell just look for number zero rock Vandergriff out of the shotgun Kongbe Kongbe with the hole how about little number zero takes it into Southern Miss territory with a 22 yard former division two walk on Vandergriff Oh my nearly picked it was right at Quez McNeil and he had six in front of him and these are those plays right I mean it, the talent is there from Brock points to hits he gets picked up and the pass is wide and incomplete trying to find Dalton again the Southern Miss has to kick it away Cole quickly if you're worried about zero Dion Walker what kind of freedom does that give to the other guys on the D-line? A lot, because you're going to... At the 50, Bryce Lofton to punt it away for Southern Miss. A very short, bad kick, facing pressure with Kentucky coming after him. Let's see where they spot it. Cats are going to have sensational field position. And the side... Catch two of three on third down opportunities tonight. Brown takes it around the edge. Took a lick. And gets popped out of bounds by Jay Jones before he could pick up the first down. And Will Hall, their head coach, all sorts of fired up. Rainer's kick from the right hash is good. Kentucky has a 10 0 lead. Just to note, Dante Lucas. On third and four. Rodemaker had to pull it back, and it goes down. They just collapsed the pocket led by Trayvon Ripka. Making his reads. One interception, one near interception. Play action. Deep ball caught by Dane Key. And some running room up the sideline. 35-yard pickup. Exactly what I'm talking about. Vandergriff hands it off this time. And there is a huge hole up the middle and then a crushing hit right. a little more deliberate in the pacing this time here's Jason Patterson with a bounce to the outside lowers his shoulder picks up a Kentucky first down on a gain of 12 yeah, Jason Patterson true freshman week so it's Sumo Karmbe the only one with experience and a couple young guys getting good opportunities a misdirection and they hand off to Patterson again was out with injury to practice Thursday. He did not participate. Hope to get him back soon. Going big. Temple under the center. And a submarine dive from Jason Patterson. Second and goal from the three. Patterson, a true freshman running back. Another opportunity. He gets hit at the line of scrimmage of Powers. Maybe to pick up a yard. Jay Jones had a huge. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number eight, defense. Attacking this is to the goal, automatic first down. Jaleel Clemens. Demi Sumo Kongbe is now tailback. Sumo Kongbe straight ahead and in. Touchdown, Kentucky. 
right at Cole Kubel. Guys, here's how we're going to draw it up. One after. Cole is down block to really just open up this hole. And Karn Bay and a couple offensive linemen go straight for Cole in the end zone. <laughs> What a look. Third and seven. Complete to the edge, but immediately brought down. And maybe an extra shove. Drake Clark with the catch, but Davron Rayner was all over after midnight. So he'll be able to carry everything. They're going to fake the punt and now look for a throw on the end around. And that will not work. Ethan Crawford. The backup quarterback came around from a wide receiver position. Really trying to get an over route coming this way after the quarterback leaks to the right. You're going to see the over route just doesn't get there in time. Crawford's looking for it. You can see he's looking backside. It's just not there. If it got a little quicker, actually would have had a chance to make a. Yeah, he was probably a little sour that night for a lot of reasons. Vandegrift backpedals and is able to find his man. Good pocket awareness. That's a first down to Dane Key. Points. They're going quickly. Little touch pass. Barry on Brown to the outside and to the end zone. Touchdown, Barry on Brown. A 12 yard catch and run. Drive for Kentucky. Rayner puts it in the net. Brown became the second. I hit 22.6 miles per hour, which, if you don't know, is fast, fast, fast in a game multiple times. So anytime you can get the ball in his hands, let him work in space, good things are going to happen. Press the pedal to the metal when you need to. Cole, do you expect to see more stretch play tonight? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. what this offense is based upon. That's kind of the foundation of it, whether you go to App or Boise or Missouri. But Southern Miss will take it to the house. Remember, an abbreviated halftime. Dari's going to have to speak really fast. Only 10 minutes before they're back out to get the second half started on this late night in the Bluegrass. 16 consecutive non conference games in the regular season, second in the country, only to Georgia. Into the end zone, nothing doing. Call you talk with Mark Stoops. Make corrections when you're not on the same page. You're unsure what coverage it was. You can look at it, rewind it, see it. That's a great way to make a quick correction and come back with a better play or a better decision. On second of four, wide open and a great read by Rodemaker, and that's good. Division one football should probably catch up to it, huh? He was playing Angry Birds on it back then. That is bobbled and incomplete. A flag on the play. Ty Mims had an opportunity. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense number 13. 15 yard penalty, first down. That's JJ Weaver. Weaver. And here they come. Rodemaker, little bit high. That's the reach of Larry Simmons. One just got away from Rodemaker. Brock Vandergriff, a quarterback for the Cats, steps out of the pocket, has not crossed the line of scrimmage, and he delivers it on time to the perimeter. And that is a first down catch by Fred Ferrier, the second, who came in from U. Cover four, keeping everything in front of them. They needed to redo the defense. Vandergriff again, this time single coverage, and it's incomplete. Brown again, and Will James draws the flag. And do you think college should go to spot a foul on P.I.? I think so. Down the sideline. Great adjustment to the ball when it was in the air by Jamori Macklin. And the St. Louis native has Kentucky knocking on the door after a 46-yard game. This is such a great throw by Brock Vandegrift, and a really tough one to do because that's a go route which is usually supposed to be thrown on the outside shoulder but the cornerback there Caraway actually has outside and that number one ranked Missouri team in 07 with Chase Daniel two superstars playing for Gary Pinkle Sumo Karnbe carries that one over the five and goal 
Sumo Kongbe is the tailback. Play action. Vandegrift finds his man. It's a tight end. Jordan Dingle. He buries it in the end zone with a five-yard touchdown catch. Minutes to go in the third quarter and a 31 nothing. That's lead. the way our night's going. Yeah, why not stick around for a little bit and you, you just kind of wonder how long it'd be at least a 30 minute delay. That's without a warm up coming back out if they choose to do so. And then you wonder if you will Hall and Mark Stoops you discuss hey maybe just maybe uh, uh, we just finish it up so everybody can get on with their night or morning as it is. Yeah you think that that's a real discussion that's going to be had especially as we push Midnight here. It's 11:52. These teams have been suited up and ready for five, six hours now. At this point, and still a lot of time left in the second half here. So the good news is we found a bottle of RD1, so that could get us through another delay. And there was a bottle of Pappy in the 